Why does everyone want to go to an IIT, NIT or BITS? What's the reason behind it? What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Uh, sorry for not posting yesterday. I was cutting my hair for the past 24 hours and that's Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the advantages of studying in a tier 1 college. A lot of people, there are a lot of coachings, there are a lot of mentors who keep telling you, keep bugging you saying IIT Jao, BITS Jao, NIT Jao. Uh, but what's the reason behind it? What are the advantages that you get by studying in one of these colleges? Placements, yes of course, you do get better placements compared to tier 2 and tier 3 colleges. First job, acha milega maybe. Uh, but apart from that, there are several other advantages that most people don't talk about. So let's clear that up. I have six reasons why you should go to these colleges. And next video, I will tell you what happens when you don't get into one of these colleges, what are the alternatives you have. So that's for next video. In this video, let's focus on the advantages. Number one advantage is the alumni network. Okay? So alumni network, look, when someone graduates from college, se, to, uh, a lot of people still stay in touch with the college, okay? So, I mean, a community bana lete and they stay, stay in touch with the college. I'll give an example of BITS. BITS has an extensive alumni network. Uh, I... Her saal, uh, her char saal mein, uh, there's something called BITS Global Meet. So, BITS Global Meet, her BITS, matlab, BITS planning ke campuses mein hota hai, wherein uh, BITS alumni from across the world come to one of the campuses to network and they have events I have made a video about it, check out it So this year, in January this year, Corona ke pehle, uh, we had BITS Global Meet uh, in the Goa campus It was one of the most amazing times uh, I got a chance to meet uh, Hari Menon, founder of Big Basket Harsha, founder of Swiggy uh, Mr. Funny, founder of Red Bus I had a chance to meet all of them and uh, you know two weeks back I had an interview with Abhinav Astana he runs Postman uh, it's a it's valued at two billion dollars so even that's a unicorn uh, and I had a chance to meet him my point is ki you get access to so many successful alumni right uh, and they're all so ready to help you and this is when I realized the power of uh, the Bitsin community because whenever someone graduates mostly they become successful and then you know they later on help you guys to maybe get a job so I give you an example I give a Locus a Bitsin startup hai, and they have they, it's valued at around 200 million dollars and 60% of Locus is Bitsians because founder is so he usually prefers Bitsians when it comes to hiring and also uh, Bits ka bahut sare forum hai. there are a lot of online forums uh, over there uh, you know if you need any kind of help agar, uh, you know connection ya career advice chahiye, ya fir if you want a job to forum mein post there will be a lot of Bitsians ready to help you out there and uh, another advantage I'll tell you uh, so last year kya hua tha? we used to build chatbots so I and my those chatbots and we were looking for feedback on our product so uh, on LinkedIn pe main, I texted a Bitsian uh, he runs a company called Real Learning so I texted him on LinkedIn saying hey uh, would you like to give feedback on our product tell me uh, you know how we can improve and he saw the message he went through the product and he said hey this is great I can become one of your clients so I was like what I just asked for feedback and is ready to become one of our clients so that's the power of the uh, network that Bitsin community builds this is applicable to IITs also at least the top 5 IITs IIT Bombay has a really extensive alumni network as most of you might be knowing a lot of founders are uh, IIT Bombay graduates so even they have a pretty good uh, network and I'm assuming even NITs at least the top NITs also have a really good alumni network so this is an advantage you know Bitsian if I meet another Bitsian, then we same college ka connect a jata hai and we are ready to have a good conversation. Also, Technical Guruji is from Bits Dubai campus. We are trying to call him for a talk. Let's see if that happens. Just a quick plug. Uh, there's a Chrome extension called uh, Death Clock. So it tells you how much time is left before you might die. Uh, download this if you feel that life is too short and you want to maximize it. So I'm uh, very lazy, so I've downloaded this thing. And it just tells me how many days are left before I die. It helps me not procrastinate and make more videos. A second advantage is your peers. Now, whenever you go to these colleges, uh, you there are high the chances are high that people around you would be smart. Okay, so when I went to the I realized that whoever my friends were, all their respective schools' toppers were pretty smart 
and everyone had something new to offer. Okay, I mean, सब सिर्फ पढ़ाई में expert नहीं थे. They used to do a lot of other things. Uh, someone used to be a good guitarist. Someone used to be a good pianist. कुछ लोग machine learning engineers थे. तो I was I I felt that even I should be doing something in life, and that motivated me to also learn and pick up few skills on the way. So that's an advantage, right? So because अगर it all depends on your environment. क्योंकि uh, your the way you're brought up is what determines where you reach in life. So if your peers are smart, if your peers are doing a lot of things, if your peers are talking about you know how the world should be in the future, that even you tend to get that particular attitude and you start behaving in a similar manner. My peers are very talented, बहुत chill भी है, तो I get inspired by them and that kind of motivates me. And maybe that's true in other colleges as well. Then uh, comes research facilities and softwares. Uh, IITs have amazing research facilities. At least the top five. Bits has uh, at least the Goa campus has decent research facilities, and I'm not sure about NITs. But the point is, these colleges have money, and they can invest in good research. Uh, like I've been to labs in Bits Goa, which have equipments worth crores. Uh, normal colleges, tier two, tier three colleges cannot afford such equipments for sure, and that's why you know you get access to these equipments and you can play around with it and explore and make new inventions, stuff like that. So research is very important, as I said. Academia का काम is to do research and find out solutions to big world problems, uh, and that's why MIT, Harvard, IIT से बहुत से research के इन्वेंशन आते हैं राइट बट वी रेयरली हियर टीयर टू और टीयर थ्री कॉलेज डूइंग समथिंग अमेजिंग क्योंकि स्टूडेंट्स इवन इफ द स्टूडेंट्स आर स्मार्ट बहुत सारे कॉलेज में इक्विपमेंट्स नहीं रहेंगे दे डोंट हैव द राइट सॉफ्टवेयर जैसे बिट्स को हमें बताता हूँ हम इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर विच कॉस्ट अराउंड फिफ्टीन लैक्स एंड दिस गाइज हैव इट बिकॉज दे कैन अफोर्ड इट वाइल मे बी इन अदर कॉलेज दे माइट नॉट हैव इन ऑफ कैपिटल to afford expensive software and give it to students so uh, that's that's one thing listen i have free access to matlab uh bits ka koi kuch to hai if, if you use that matlab aapko mil jayega so these are all expensive softwares also campus wide there's a g suite account so i can use all the g suite features things like this so my point is ki when it comes to research and expensive softwares these colleges can afford it and provide it to students while other colleges cannot actually do that But but when it comes to something like coding, uh, just with only laptop, kids are there. In that case, college doesn't matter. But when it comes to something like hardcore research, but when it comes to using equipments like some biological equipments, then obviously T1 colleges have an advantage over other colleges. Next is internships. So uh, let me tell you uh, a story. Uh, in January, uh, as I said, we had Bits Global Meet. I met the founder of Locus, and he, he it's Locus is a two hundred million dollar company. I met him. I had I didn't I just asked him a question. Like वो talk दे रहे थे and I asked him a question. After the session got over, he uh, he you know, comes up to me and hands over his card. Uh, the CEO he hands over the card and says, uh, if you need any internship, just let me know. And he does this. I was like, what? I just got an internship offer from the CEO himself. So you know when it comes to getting internships it's very easy uh, in my first year I did an internship with a company called Pushstart and even that's a bit similar to um yeah and even in the future if I want to do a internship I would obviously go with a bit similar venture because that's the most easy and accessible one uh, also bits has something called ps1 and ps2 where it's compulsory to do internships and they'll give you an internship uh, internship center so that's something that uh, bits provides i'm not sure about iits and nits But yeah, getting internship is easy because you can leverage the brand name. You can both say that I am a student of Bits Pillani, I am a student of IIT Madras, and uh, get that internship pretty quick. Uh, next is leverage brand name. So I think my channel shot up because I was from Bits. Let's face it, right? I made a couple of videos about Bits, and that's why, that's how I think I got most of my subscribers. So in in things like you know making a channel or publicizing yourself on social media i think college does play a role uh, let's take an example of kalpit virwal right he he is a student of iit bombay he has social media profiles so even if he doesn't post a video people will just see iit bombay and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button so yeah it, you know the society has made us think that iit bombay kids or whatever kids are pretty smart and you're supposed to see them as idols so that's that's that that's the reason why these guys get pretty popular pretty soon um so yeah 
the brand name gets leveraged and that's something that you can use as an opportunity for yourself um, while other colleges cannot do that, right? So maybe this is not a very good advantage, but you can use it. There are so many uh, coachings that are run by IIT students. They just uh, they just say, hey, this is run by IIT J. This is run by a student who studied at IIT Madras. So that means even you'll get into IIT Madras. Uh, they, are, they just leverage the brand name, right? So that's that's something that you can do. So if you're planning to open a coaching and if you have studied from an IIT, then you have a very, really good leverage over someone who didn't study in IIT but still is teaching IIT J portion. Let's come to the most important point, which is good first job. Uh, as I said, uh, only your first job is related to your college. After that, it's mostly your skills. Uh, so all these colleges, tier one colleges have amazing placements. Historically, they've been having amazing placements. I'm not sure what's going to happen after Corona. It might drop for sure. Uh, but yeah, historically, they've been having amazing placements. Uh, so these guys get higher salaries in their first job as compared to someone from tier two, tier three colleges. That doesn't mean that tier three, tier two colleges uh, are trash. It, it's not at all. I have tier three college friends who are at Google right now and it's just because of sheer hard work and the hustle that they've been putting in. So not to generalize anything, I'm just talking about the averages over here. Yeah, uh, there are a few other factors as well. May, uh, these colleges might be having good hostel rooms uh, but you know, even colleges like Manipal also have good hostel rooms. Uh, even SRM has good hostel rooms. Uh, these colleges might also have good sports facilities. A lot of IITs have crazy sports facilities. Even BITS has pretty good sports sports facilities. I'm pretty sure even NITs have good sports facilities. Uh, while I've seen colleges that are really tiny with just one ground, and that too is used for cricket, football, basketball, everything. So if you're a sports enthusiast, then I think you might have to reconsider. You don't want to study in a 10 acre college where there's just one ground. That might not be your ideal choice. But still, uh, there are a lot of colleges with great sports facilities. It's not, it's not just these tier one colleges, uh, but I'm just saying that most of these colleges have pretty good sports facilities. So you might consider one of these if you're a sports enthusiast. So BITS has uh, two policies. It has 0% uh, attendance and 0% reservation. So there's no reservation for ST, SC, OBC, general. Uh, it's everyone's considered equal over there. And when it comes to 0% attendance, uh, you most courses do not require you to attend all classes. You can uh, give exams even without attending classes. So these are few advantages that tier one colleges have over tier two and tier three. Next video is going to be pretty interesting because I'm going to break it down. I'm going to tell you why not going to a college or going to a tier two or tier three college might be an unfair advantage for few of you. So if you see, let's face it, right? Not everyone's going to get into an IIT, an IT or bits. That's, that's, that's the hard reality. And I, I'm talking about the majority of people. Majority of you would not go to such colleges and majority of you would land up in tier two and tier three colleges. There's nothing wrong in that. So next video, I'm gonna tell you what are the advantages you guys have so that you can compete with the tier one guys and ultimately end up doing something cool in life. So let's talk about that in the next video. And until then, see you, take care. I'll try posting daily and yeah, how's my haircut? <laughs>